honestly this makes it worth all the money um, just for this I want it on my Shelby what's going on guys this is Dario with 5.2 liter with another video about the WRX and in today's video I want to show you a product review um, from the company called fucking tuned I think that's a pretty cool name to be honest and uh, this is a throttle response controller which basically attaches to your gas pedal and it will change the, the throttle response obviously and um, as these cars have a lot of lag in the, in the throttle I think it's a very very cool addition to the car as it is um, fully stock right now I think we can we can get a lot of um, change with this little control unit here um, but without further ado we'll jump into the installation I'll show you um, what you need to do in order to hook this up you will um, we'll be using an app to to adjust anything on this little controller and uh, if you guys want to check the product out I'll link it below you can get a um, $10 discount and um, obviously you will be also supporting the channel so thank you very much if you want to purchase one they have this uh, product for a bunch of different cars uh, obviously you just have to tell them what kind of car you got what year and um, they will adjust uh, their their um, software for it so um, if you think this is very interesting go check it out link is below but without further ado let's jump into it right guys so this is what comes in the box right here um, you have this little controller obviously you have this little paper that tells you the registration process and the user manual and then if you take this out you see that there's the harness in the back which you have to be connecting and um, to figure out where you have to do this obviously locate your gas pedal and then you want to go up there and disconnect the connector for the gas pedal and then just connect the little control unit here in between that harness and um, that will basically be it but I'll show you the process as we go and um, super easy plug and play you should be done within like five minutes so as you can see here this is the control unit as I mentioned here fucking tuned you have the connector that will actually replace the connection for the gas pedal and then this connector um, will just basically be um, the female connector where you have that male connector that is already plugged up in there you will plug this into this side so that is basically just the control control unit that you set in between so that they can adjust the uh, gas pedal uh, feel um, with this control unit right here so I actually ended up using my little clip remover to get this last clip out obviously that's going to be different for whatever kind of vehicle you have and then I did unplug this um, connector here uh, for the WRX it was a safety connector so you kind of have to push this um, bar down here so you can pull that up but um, fairly easy to get to and please really ensure that you do connect these con connectors correctly because obviously you do not want this to disconnect and your gas pedal not work anymore so really ensure and do like a push-pull check um, when you have this installed so that you do not run into this issue of eventually losing gas so as I said just connect uh, the factory connector into this um, connector from the control units and now basically just take this and connect it back onto the pedal so I have this connected here now and you should definitely hear click and just do the same procedure just do a push pull check and now I have this control unit hanging around here um, I don't need to be ex I don't need to have access to it so just find a position where you can maybe zip tie it to or where you can put it behind um, maybe the carpet or something and um, then just tuck everything away you can put this clip back on here and um, then you're pretty much all set all right and then as soon as you have everything hooked up I'll uh, probably just tuck this behind the carpet um, you can just start your ignition and you can just basically pull it up on your phone give it a name and um, then you basically have it hooked up and uh, we should be all ready to get to driving all right guys so for everybody that might also have a Subaru WRX um, 
just my setup I wanted to show you this real quick so I have this control unit right behind the carpet here I have the wire kind of tucked up here and I put a couple zip ties just to really keep that um, in position I don't want this to rattle around I don't want it to fall around we'll see how the control unit back here will be holding up but I'm fairly positive and um, yeah we should be ready for driving now so I'm really excited to test this out and we'll see how it does all right guys so now we can get started sorry the AC is blowing a little loud here um, but we can get started and um, while we're just sitting here I want to um, start enabling the app and um, show you guys what we can do with this app so guys so as you can see we got four default settings here we got fucking slow fucking cruise fucking fast and fucking send it so I want to play it through these um, there's more adjustability in the app uh, but I just want to see how different the the gas pedal will feel with all each of these settings and then uh, I'll just give you a review of what they feel like to me. Alright, so we have changed it to fucking slow. We'll see. Wow. <laughs> okay, the car feels really slow now. It's really like you got like probably 50% less of a throttle response so <laughs> it really feels slow um, and I would really just recommend this to uh, only do this if, if you're like in a certain area or you want to really save gas but the important part is you're gonna have less power on your car so really uh, be cautious with that one and um, you can also um, adjust it by a plus and minus so you have a little bit of adjustability in here um, I want to go to fucking fast and see how that feels so we'll switch to that and see how the car responds whoa <laughs> all right I can immediately feel a difference of Jesus <laughs> I was not makes a huge difference wow especially coming from the fucking slow to fucking fast I mean um, how do I describe it I mean you, you definitely obviously get uh, a straighter curve of when you put the actual gas pedal down um, the reaction time of the actual car you know responding to it feels very different to just driving it stuck. And honestly, I have a feeling that I get more pops. I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining that, but uh, maybe because, you know, the, the gas flows faster, it gets, um, you know, it opens the, the throttle body quicker. I think that could have something to do with it. Um, that you might get a few more pops, but very interesting. Yeah, I definitely get more rumble back there. I mean, I don't know if you guys can hear that through the video, but the, the throttle response is a, a lot quicker. So like from stock, I was always complaining about when I'm getting on the gas, it just kind of takes, I mean, you, you're always gonna have a, a turbo lag or something, but um, but just touching the gas pedal, it just doesn't feel like it, it punches right away. So it takes a little bit, then it picks up a lot on the stock um, software, and then it, it picks up again, you know, it, it, it falls down. So basically you have a curve, it goes like, you know, you have nothing, then there's a lot, and then it falls down again. So I really don't like that. Um, with this, I must say, if you if you're driving fucking fast um, the response is there right away and it feels more linear so yeah I definitely 
definitely get more pops. I mean, very, very cool. <laughs> Obviously, you need less play of the of the uh, gas to now get a lot more response. So you got to be really touchy with it. So it's really you touch it and it goes. There's there's no there's no lag on like you know you touching it and it actually like sending you. Um, it honest it honestly feels kind of like you know you have less of a turbo lag because I mean it's not even a turbo lag but it's it's just the lag of you touching the gas pedal pushing it down and then it responding. So you might might be able to see like you know a little bit better times in like a um, like a course on the drag. Um, I honestly don't think from zero to sixty you're going to see any differences because just if you push down the gas all the way, it's going to be all the way. Just the reaction of you pushing it down um, definitely makes a difference, and I think that is very interesting. But yeah, it, it's just really cool to to be able to change it like that. Um, you know, it's it's simply software. Um, just had to slow down here. There was a, a cop sitting there. Okay, well, you have to be really knowing your car and if you want to do like heel toe downshifts on a manual and so on, it's it's definitely going to make a huge difference because you, you're used to like how much gas you have to give it when you downshift, but now it's so touchy that, you know, so I imagine the cruise to be, you know, the more subtle approach to this. Um, I still get still get good pops here. Um, it honestly feels closer to stock. Um, I don't know if they have the exact stock um, tune for this, but no, they don't. <laughs> okay, when I'm heel towing, I can definitely tell the difference because that is when I really know like how much gas I'm using, and. Um, no, it, it, it definitely is a really, really cool feature. I love this. Um, it feels a lot more touchy, which I really was not a fan of the stock software that they were running for the gas pedal um, as, as the sensor of like, you know, how much you're giving it. As I said, the curve was like up and down and um, this feels a lot more linear. Um, obviously, the like more extreme you go with the with the fucking slow to the fucking send it, it's gonna make a huge difference. Um, trust me, and you can play around with it if you get this. Um, but I think it's a really, really cool feature. Need a better road for this so I can get a little bit space here. And um, if you guys are looking for something um, to, to adjust on your car, that is not gonna void your warranty because obviously this is um, you're just you know while you are pulling the plug of the of the gas paddle um, you're just putting something in between that you can always take out so nobody's gonna know that you even installed this um, but also I don't see why they would void any warranty claims um, but now we got a little bit of space so we can try this So I 
I just figured out, um, or I just remembered, that the Subaru has this little accelerator um, dial that we can use in order to see the differences here. And um, I'll just show you real quick. Let me turn this AC off. I'll just turn you real quick. Uh, I'll just show you real quick. I'll give it the same gas and all. Uh, four modes and you will see the difference in the accelerator so I'll just I'll just slightly touch it and you see it goes like maybe to 10% max and it's like giving it 20% of the actual accelerator so switching uh, from the fucking slow to fucking cruise you can see to like around 30 to 40 with the same amount of um, yeah accelerator so now we move into fucking crew uh, fucking fast as you can see here so I've been switching between these three and I'm giving it the same amount of gas so it goes up to 60 just by flipping the gas a little bit and here, now we got fucking send it, so I'm, like, <laughs> I'm actually uh, very interested to see how far it's gonna go. So it goes up to like 75, 80 with the first blip. So you can see, this is basically just what it does. You push down on the gas pedal, and depending on the settings on this app you will adjust um, the throttle response so the quicker um, you want to be or the quicker you want the response to be you just switch between the different settings and here you can also adjust them slightly so if you don't like the the presetting of you know the fucking fast you might want to go a little bit down or a little bit up from the sensitivity and so you can switch between these two really really cool I can only recommend it I love it so far and I really really want this now for my Shelby as well because I know they're making this I think for like pretty much every car so I'm really really excited about this I'm gonna get this for the Shelby 100% um, just so so I can adjust you know depending on what mood I'm in or how I want to drive and as I said this is super super easy you just connect it via Bluetooth you just take your phone literally takes five minutes to install and super super cool features and if for some reason you're just uh, sick of it and you just want to run you know your stock i don't know why you would want to do but if you want to do run the stock software you just turn it off um so you just change it and then it's off and then you you're back to your you know stock software yes the stock is around like 20 in the response so it's closer to probably between fucking slow and cruise um, but then you just turn it back on super easy all right guys and there's one more thing that I want to show you and honestly this makes it worth all the money um, just for this I want it on my Shelby um, because it has an anti-theft mode. I think this is really the, the big game changer. I mean, you can play around with the gas pedal. I think it's super fun. Um, you can, you know, adjust how sensitive uh, your, your gas pedal reacts, but this is a game changer because you can turn this anti-theft mode on and then basically what it does, you know, while I'm pushing down on the gas pedal, it just doesn't react anymore. So you will not get any any gas response whatsoever while touching this. So you basically just turn this anti-theft mode on and it stops and it's completely off. And then you can unlock your car just with this. So you turn it on, there you go. And the car can't be stolen. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, just as a summary, I think it's really, really cool to just be able to um, adjust the sensitivity of your gas pedal because, you know, in certain different situations, you might want the gas pedal to react quicker or slower, um, depending what you want to do with it. If you're racing, definitely, definitely recommend this. Um, I mean, they, they have this product for so many different cars and, you know, you can just um, 
get probably you know a, a couple seconds out of a lap or so but just just for the matter of um, the response of the throttle which is super cool and um, you know I don't think zero to 60 times it's gonna be dramatically changing but um, you know I think it's it's just for um, the daily driving I think the, the curve is more linear you you nev never gonna have this um, feeling of oh you touching the gas pedal a little bit but nothing comes you can adjust that um, if you don't like that and I really really did not like uh, so far how the Subaru behaves um, just by the uh, the throttle response um, with this uh, I'm definitely gonna um, play around with it but I think I'm gonna I'm gonna drive it in um, either fucking cruise or fucking uh, fast uh, because this is the the two that I like so far really really um, a lot and other than that uh, the 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 anti-theft mode is really the game changer to me because I can just turn the gas pedal off I mean what is someone gonna do they're gonna try to steal that car and they can't even get any gas um, so I mean they're, they're completely stuck even if they know how to drive a stick you know which is <laughs> I mean essentially the best way to to protect your car get a stick drive and um, you know get a six speed people are not gonna steal your car but that on top it, it's just a game changer to me I'll definitely get that for the Shelby let me know what you think about this video I hope I can uh, I can answer a lot of your questions if you have any questions on top feel free to reach out and I'll definitely try to answer them maybe I'll make an additional video about like 0 to 60 times if I see any differences in that and uh... so thank you for tuning in and stay loud